Hey everyone, how y'all doing? So today I got something cool to show you. I have the traveling box of knives. Now if you don't know what the traveling box of knives is, it is a box full of knives that Mike's life put together. I, I believe it started out with 12 knives, 10 or 12 knives. And he put them all in a box, shipped it out to someone as a traveling box of knives. Then that person did a video, shipped it on to the next person, and so on and so on. And if there's a knife or two that you like, you can swap it out for a knife of equal or greater value. And yeah, like I said, Mike's life started it. He sent it to Terry's Knives and Man stuff. I guess they um, together kind of started this. Or they talked about it before they started it. But yeah, Terry had it. He then shipped it to Gunslinger Cal, which I do not have a sticker for, or else I would show it. And then he sent it to Randy's WSG, who then sent it to GR Nice and Outdoors. Can you see that? And then he sent it to John over at J.O. Ventures Outdoors, who then sent it to me. And along with the box of knives, John included a um, Christmas card with a note and four cool suspension clips that someone, one of his viewers had 3D printed or they 3D printed it. But John knew I was in need of some more suspension clips for all my Swiss Army knives. And he sent me these. So I got a red one, a black one, two white ones that could possibly be glow in the dark. But yeah, thanks John. I really appreciate these. I needed them. Love the card. I don't, we don't get too many Christmas cards. Um, but yeah, so I have a traveling box of knives right now. When I am done, I am sending it to Tim over at Tim's School of Fish. I asked him if he wanted it. He absolutely did. He was wondering how he was going to get on the list for it. Well, he's going to get it next. And um, I'm trying to get this video done so I can get this shipped out Monday. So, I, you know, hopefully he gets it before Christmas and it doesn't get lost in the mail or anything like that. But yeah, I guess get down to it. There's 12 knives, so I guess in no particular order, we'll just start doing them. First one is a cool little utility blade. It is an Ulfa blade, Ulfa knives. Um, it says Ulfa craft knife. Pretty cool little blade, little knife. Has a thumb screw right here, you loosen that up. Extend the blade out. This has the larger blades. In fact, there's a whole box of extra blades that came with it. But pretty cool. Ulfa, they make a lot of utility knives, scissors, cutting, cutting type utensils. Um, a lot of safety utility blades that if you ever use a safety blade, safety razor, they don't work that great. But, I'm not going to get into Ulfa. Hey, <laughs> there's history there, but this is actually pretty cool. And you can adjust this, tighten it down. You can have just a little bit of the blade sticking out. So, actually, this one is pretty cool. And, somehow it ended up in this little leather slip. I don't know who made this or where it came from. Almost looks like it was cut cut from, you know, it was bigger and they cut it down to fit this. But, yeah, I don't know where this came from. Pretty cool, rust, rustic looking little slip for it. I could see carrying this in my back pocket. How would that, yeah, I guess that would be better that way. That thumb screw kept getting caught. But, yeah, have that. That's pretty neat. Um... Next one is a kind of modern flipper and it is a SOG Twitch 2. 
Now, I don't own any SOGs. My son, I think, has one. But <clears throat> this is a little knife. It's not very big. Where's my ruler? Let's check this thing out. This thing's only about three and a half inches closed. It's got a flipper tab thumb studs. It's actually a lock back. And it has this little safety switch. So it is spring spring assisted so you put that switch up it will not open just pull that back and it rockets right out like I said it is spring spring loaded I keep looking for a line of lock on this but it is a back lock and yeah you gotta kind of fight the opening spring to close it then it snaps shut Centering on this thing's dead center, aluminum handles, pretty cool, got a cool pocket clip on it, lanyard hole, this is a very cool little knife, I kind of, I kind of dig this little knife, like I said, back lock, got a little safety lock right there, little three finger grip, pretty comfortable, that clip doesn't bother me, so yeah, that's, that's a SOG Twitch 2. I don't know the model number. There's a patent number. I'm not sure what kind of steel it is or anything. Um, I've only had this for like a day. So I didn't do a whole lot of research. But yeah, move on to the next one. I like this one. Because um, it is a buck. And this is the Buck Odessa. Here's the box. It has the box with it. Odessa 0254SSS-B. Catalog number 13052. Um, this one is made in China. It's one of their Chinese budget knives. Stainless steel frame lock. Got a flipper tab. Thumb studs. Now the flipper tab. Action. So-so. It's really easy to fail. Thumb stud action. Pretty nice. Um, frame lock. Lock up is excellent. There is a little bit of blade play side to side. Nothing up and down. I, I did try adjusting this. To get. A little better it's not bad actually I might have stumbled into something I was trying to adjust the pivot get the flipper action better <clears throat> it is not drop shutty because it is a frame lock um, yeah little, little adjusting you might be able to get this tuned in there's just a little bit of side to side play now centering pretty good um, pocket clip got a decent pocket clip on it for buck kind of normal looking clip it's a loop over clip but it's not deep carry yeah, got a little bit sticking out um, this is pretty nice I may have to pick one of the, these up another inexpensive buck knife I, I just I like the profile the shape of it and everything um, yeah pretty cool these these are like I said made in China they're not expensive I'm not sure 20 20 some bucks maybe but yeah pretty cool buck right there now move on to the next one is a Puma Outdoor Nice Puma Tech. Um, that is the model number right there. 7713202. I looked these things up. There's 203s, 201s, you know. So, this is a 202. It is a cool little muskrat. It is a muskrat pattern. Because it has two blades, identical blades, these long California 
um, clip blades and it is a muskrat pattern. I have one other muskrat and it's a double muskrat meaning it has four blades like these but handle what what is the handle covers now oh man I can't I'll, I'll put a note on the screen I did look sandalwood black sandalwood covers and they are pretty nice fin finish on this is pretty good transitions are pretty good the pins you can feel them a little bit not not bad this side this side's even a little better but I do like that that wood in person is actually quite nice nickel silver bolsters got the Puma shield right there no real gapping in the back springs maybe minor minor gapping but yeah that's this is a pretty cool little knife it's not huge either it is oh closed three three and a half and blades on this are about two and two and one two three four five five eighths with about a one and three eighths cutting edge or a little less maybe but yeah nice nice little California clips grinds done pretty good it is made in China as you can see right there tank stamp Puma and that's that blade this blade is clean no no tank stamps or anything but yeah I think that that's a cool cool little knife and <clears throat> got a limited warranty information right here all that um, Puma Tech send your Puma Tech knife to Puma SMKW so it's a SMKW <clears throat> brand of knife but yeah little Puma muskrat I dig that one now next one is pretty cool it is an imperial electrician's knife or I said imperial it's a Camillus electrician's knife right there and it says New York I don't see anything on that side but this is a pretty old one I don't know what kind of steel it is it's probably a carbon steel it's got a lot of patina in it it's definitely been used and been cleaned up it's quite a bit of oil in there um, the the main blade here is a slip joint then you got the electrician's blade which is pretty tight that's got a strong pull half stop open it up you got your screwdriver tip your blade here little pry works as a pry tool all that great stuff and this has no tank stamp but this one's a locking blade it has this brass liner lock and boy that has some spring retention the walk boy the pull on that I'd give it a good eight and a half holy cow that is strong that doesn't even need a liner lock <clears throat> that thing is so heavy this one oh I'd give that a good seven that's nice that has a half stop nice drop point spear point blade very cool I have one one other electrician's knife similar to this that I don't think I've shown I'll have to get it out and show it maybe I'll while I have this maybe I'll do a two for Tuesday video between these two electricians nice but yeah the, Camillus I don't know what I want to say Imperial but it is a Camillus electrician's knife um, now the next one is a Imperial and I dig this one it's right up my alley and it's this little Swiss Army knife slash camp knife Imperial Ireland 
It's got the red plastic scales like on a Victorinox. It has a bail. Instead of a little split ring, it has a bail. And you get your opening layers. You get your can opener. You get your cap lifter, screwdriver tip. And you get your main blade, the snap on that. Yeah, for some reason it was kind of gritty and didn't want to close. Now here's the main blade. Big old spear point blade. Pretty beat up. Tang stance says Imperial Ireland. Nothing on that side. Um, walk and talk on that's fine. Then you have all reamer. I guess it's just a reamer. Does not have a sewing eye. But pretty nice could be sharpened up just a little bit and maybe I'd put a little a little more point on the end but yeah this would definitely start pilot holes and wood <laughs> scrape stuff I just love having an all reamer on my knives I abuse that's one tool I do abuse but yeah Pretty cool. I have no clue when this was made, how old it is, but very cool. I dig this. Imperial Ireland. Yeah, so have that. That's an awesome, awesome knife. And here's another little Imperium. A little, little double bladed, little jackknife, single back spring. Got a clip point says Imperial Ireland stainless and that got a little pen blade right here tiny little guy there's some blade play in that one that closes doesn't really snap that doesn't really snap this thing needs a little cleaning and oiling yeah a little blade play in that some kind of Synthetic candles, plastic candles here. Um, this is a little knife. Where's my ruler? Close. This thing is about two and three quarter inches. Open that clip point. You get about four and three quarters. Yeah. Nice little pocket dropper. Fifth pocket carry. I dig this one. This is pretty cool. Imperial. So you have that one. That's a little tiny guy. Um, yeah, let's do... There's actually a case knife in here. Kind of amber jig bone covers. I believe that's the Rogers um, seed jig or whatever they call it. Nickel silver bolsters, pins. Pins are kind of messed up on this one. <clears throat> Back here, they're really, really deep. But this is a nice knife. It's a little Stockman. Made in USA, of course. Got case right there. USA. That's an old, old font, I believe. Nice clip point. And I'm not sure what the steel is. I believe it's this they're true sharp stainless. Got a little pen blade right there, SS for stainless steel. Shorts are true sharp. Nice little spade blade. Really got real sharp big belly right here. That's that's kind of cool. And then you have the awesome Sheep's foot, Warren Cliff, coping blade, whatever you want to call this. Just it'd be just an awesome blade. Kinda has a blunt tip on it right now, but yeah, that that says five three. Let me go good better look. Six three one eight. It's a pattern number. And again, SS for stainless steel. But yeah. Fit and finish on this is really pretty nice. No gaps. Nice and smooth back springs. Um, blade centering, you know. 
It's a three bladed knife. Spade blade might be might be rubbing just a touch. You can see you can see on the other blade. Oh, well, there's a little blade rub there. Clip points nice. The center blades between the two. Very nice little knife. I dig this one also. Very cool to be able to check it out. Um, next one is a more a newer traditional. It is the Red Fox series trapper, and I have the box here for that. Um, was model number R R two two nine one, and of course it comes in Rough Riders nice box. Magnetic flap, foam cutout, all that good stuff. Now I just gotten a little Barlow in this series. I dig it. This is pretty nice. Blade centering's pretty decent. They're off to the left a little bit, but they're not rubbing that I can tell. No, don't look it. So you have clip point blade. Got the double R Rough Rider Tang Stamp, RR2291 China, up here 440 Razor Sharp Steel. Now this blade is a little different. I'm not even sure what to call this blade. I didn't look this up to see what Rough Rider calls it. It's not your typical spade blade. It's kind of upswept, Persian-esque type of blade but I really dig that blade shape it's a nice long belly on there I think that'd be pretty pretty useful for like food prep got that they both have half stops big long swedge long match strike pole walk and talks pretty decent poles probably a five yeah, five, five and a half. Pretty cool. Lanyard hole even. You want a little lanyard on here. Um, but yeah, black and red G or um micarta scales says right on the box. Black and red micarta handles. Very cool. I like the red fox inlaid shield. Pins nice and flush. Fin finish on this is actually pretty nice. Um, gapping, no signif significant gapping. Maybe a little, little one running down here between the brass liner and the back spring. But yeah, very cool. This is definitely, I said I was going to get more out of this series. And I'm, this is one I, I'll definitely probably end up getting. Now... Next one is a cool, cool knife. Dejen, D-E-G-E-N. I did look this up. It's like a twenty-dollar knife. Um, now what I saw is that stainless steel blade. This actually has quite a bit of oil inside. You can see, but I don't know if it's stainless. It looks carbon. Because of the pitting and the patina on it. But pretty cool handle. Polymer type of plastic handle. This is really comfortable in hand. You can choke up on that kick also. Um, overall, I like the way this feels in my hand. And you have a straight clip point blade on this. It says solid in Germany there nothing on that side Dajun I'm not sure exactly how to pronounce it cool lettering though West Germany back spring that looks like cart I don't know what that is but it's got some patina to it for sure very cool I dig this very lightweight um, I'm not going to weigh it but Overall length of this is about seven and seven eighths. 
you get about a three inch cutting edge on this one half stop snaps closed centering is pretty decent not, not perfect but pretty close and yeah this is a cool knife I I dig this one also <clears throat> this is actually not a knife on here I I do not like <laughs> Um, next one is pretty cool. It's a little Kershaw. Um, it is a Cento Fonte. And it's a little spring assisted knife. Stainless steel frame. Liner lock. Down here, it's got three spots. It has mother of pearl in there. Took me a while to actually notice that. That is pretty cool. Centering is off on this one. Um, it is an assisted flipper and thumb studs. Has a little locking feature right here. Um, see if I have it locked. Yeah, you cannot open it when that is engaged. Pull it back. Rockets right out. Cool Warren Cliff blade on this. I dig. I dig the profile of this one. Um, the model of this is 1615 SS for stainless steel. Ken Onion Design Cento Fonte right there. If I can get it so you guys can read. Right there. I am trying different lighting out. I have a ring light up here by the camera. I think it creates more of a glare than anything. But yeah. Lockup is good. No, no side to side, no up and down. Liner locks fully engaged. Um, little knife. Too little for me. I have a hard time opening it, to tell you the truth. About three and an eighth closed. Um, there we go. Overall length of this one is five and three eighths. Yeah, about. Yeah, like I said, this is a little bit too small for me. I flipped it open one time, and the blade being all centered a little bit doesn't help. <clears throat> but yeah. Oh, my camera just shut itself down. Too long. I don't know. I'm still getting used to this camera. Um, but yeah, polymer sheath. A lot of mounting um, options here. Comes with this nylon belt loop with a snap and Velcro, double security. And this, you can mount this different ways. I'm sure you can mount, turn it, mount it horizontal. You'd lose that. Um, but different options here. Put tech lock on here, whatever. Soft loops, however you want to do it. You got a lot of. A lot of options there. Um, got a retention strap. Let's pull the knife out. That clicks in there nice. No issues. But check this out. This is actually, I like this. This would make an excellent camp knife. Going out in the woods, you know, hiking and stuff. Be an awesome knife to take. Has kind of a semi soft handle kind of like a mora maybe very very comfortable in hand fits my hand perfect nice jumping on top full flat grind sand finish right there it says 440c steel that side all you have is the olden wolf logo which is i think is pretty cool plus it's on the handle Got a um, lanyard hole right here, little pommel. Um, it appears to be full tang, you know, captured full tang. It's inside the handle, all the way around, handles all the way around it, but I believe it's f full tang. Pretty cool. Um, where's my. Where's my calipers let's see how thick the blade stock is it's not super thick 
zeroed out, zeroed out, I get only 0 0.10. So not super thick. Blade height I this is oh about one and a little less than one and a quarter, 1.22. Handle thickness, 0 0.82. Back here, highest spot, 1.18. Um, yeah, awesome. I dig this. Now, <clears throat> I, w I am tempted to keep this for hiking um, and camping next summer. But I think they do have different colored handles. And they have different one with different steel and one with a scandy grind instead of full flat. I'm gonna to have to look these guys up. Um, if they have one with an orange handle, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it for a camp knife because this thing is pretty nice. I would probably still get the full flat grind. Maybe I'd get a scandy ground one, I don't know. But yeah, this is something I'm definitely gonna gonna look into. Um, one, one reason I'm not gonna keep this one is I really don't have anything to take its place. And these are not expensive, but I can't remember the price on these. But I know someone's in line to check out the traveling box of knives, and they're pretty interested in checking this out, so... Hopefully it gets to them, but yeah, the olden knife. I don't even know the part numbers or part number anywhere. Here we go. OD dash LF dash zero zero three one eight dash OSA. Um, made in well, the company's in Germany. It's made in China. China, excuse me. But yeah, very cool. Um, yeah, that covers all of them. Now, there are a few I'm debating on keeping and swapping out knives. So when this gets to Tim's School of Fish, you might see a couple, one or two different knives in here. And actually, I have one or two knives I'm going to add, just add to it. So he'll be getting like 14 knives to check out. But yeah, again, check out all the channels. There's a playlist. Um, I believe it's on JL Ventures Outdoors has a playlist with everyone that's done this. Um, check out Mike's Life. He's the one that started this. All these other you know channels so far: Randy's WSG, Terry's Knives and Man stuff, GR Knives and Outdoors, Tim's Getting It Next, John from JL Ventures Outdoors, and yeah, guess that'll do it for this video. My camera shut down once, so I don't know how long this video is going to be, but I guess that'll do it. Do the usual like, comment, subscribe to this channel if you haven't. All these other channels. And until the next video, bye.